I've noticed a strange epidemic around here in the last three weeks. My wife and I live in Nashville, and I have been seeing lots of Red Sox fans. Red Sox hats left and right. You know, what's like I know I'm a Yankees fan and I live down here in Nashville, but I'm from New Jersey, which is geographically consistent with like in the Yankees. If you're wearing a Red Sox hat down here in Nashville, as many as I've seen, that's geographically consistent with being a front runner. And I could understand you get some transplants from Boston and whatnot, and you know, like they like their Red Sox hat so much that they remember to park their car, hob and yard and and they fight and all that stuff. But a lot of these Red Sox fans, I'm hearing them talking, they're like, I'm real glad the Red Sox won the World Series. What is with all these Red Sox fans down here in Nashville? It's front running. Can't you just pick a team and stick with it? Like, yeah, I know the Yankees have had some success, none lately, and I still love them. I will always love the Yankees, even after they coughed up that 3 nothing lead versus the Red Sox in 2004, which pretty much started this epidemic of Red Sox hats popping up all across the country anyway. So technically the Red Sox owe the Yankees quite a lot of gratitude for their inability to hold a 3 nothing lead after winning a, the third game 19-8, because all of a sudden after that there's people wearing Red Sox stuff left and right. Ridiculous. And also I live down here, and this is my wife and I live down here in Nashville, tons of Patriots fans. Patriots fans all over Nashville. Now I'm sure they went into hiding today because the Titans laid a good beating on them, 34-10. to but nevertheless, what is with all these, these Red Sox and Patriots fans down in the South? As I said, I know some of these are transplants. It can't be all of you. And I've heard you talk. I know what a Boston accent sounds like, and I know what a Tennessee accent sounds like. A Boston accent would say, pack your car. I gotta go to the bathroom, I got a five. A Tennessee accent would be like, I parked my car. Now, I'm not picking on the Tennessee accent. I love living down here, so don't go going nuts on me folks and you know don't go starting your letter writing campaigns and contacting your senators and whatever other millennial crap it is you little piss ants do and you know if you want to be a red sox fan it's certainly your choice but this epidemic of front running it's a sad sad state of affairs god damn it really really you know i mean and i'll tell you what i like the jets in football you see much more. That, that's loyal. They got pasted 41 to 10 in their own building by Buffalo. Today. And I still love the Jets. And I'm going to go see them here in a few weeks. And I don't have to worry about any front running Jets fans down here. Because you can't develop a bandwagon fan base when you've gone 50 years without winning a Super Bowl. You know it. I know it. They know it. The Lord up above knows it. Satan down below knows it. And so does Ziffa and Brady and Homer Simpson and Batman and Bart Simpson and Peter Griffin and Ultraman and Speed Razor and all the sharks, ghosts and goblins down in the ocean or in the haunted houses and wherever they else may be and also Fred and Ethel in Topeka, Kansas that are having trouble with bees running amok in their house. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your loved ones. Click the subscribe button. And if you're a Red Sox fan and you're not from Boston, what is wrong with you? Let's stop the front running, especially all you ones that are Red Sox fans out in Anaheim. And I've seen you out there too. It's ridiculous. Is there something wrong with the Angels, Dodgers, Giants, A's, or whatever the hell else you got out there? Padres? Yeah, there might be. They don't win as much. <laughs>